Welcome to the first episode of a new YouTube series, Being Effective with Upnote. Um, it's all about this wonderful application, Upnote. It's a note-taking application, um, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. Now, as the series develops, uh, you'll see the power of this amazing tool. Uh, we'll think about how to organize notes and notebooks. We'll think about the different ways you can edit notes different things you can do, um, tagging, linking, backlinks, uh, fiddling around with the settings and all kinds of things like that. And then we'll move on to uh, more advanced things as we think about upnote mastery way down the line. But today, uh, I just want to cover the very basics of upnote, what you see when you log in, uh, the basic overview of how the application works and then how to create notebooks and notes and then in future episodes we'll look at some of those other things. So as you can see uh, when you start here uh, on Upnote you can sign in or create an account if you've not already got one. You can even continue without an account and this is what we're going to be doing today uh, rather than creating a new account uh, just to show you the basics. So we're going to click that and in we go. And this is what you see when you first uh, come into Upnote here, you'll see that it splits into three sections, the main screen. You've got your sidebar uh, on the left on the left hand side over here. Uh, in the middle you've got your note list uh, and then on the right hand side you've got your note editor. Now in the sidebar we're going to go into much more detail on this uh, in future episodes, what you can do with it, but for now I'll just show you what's what's here, what you can see at the top you have your all notes section. Um, you've got some pre-built filters already in there, so that will filter for any notes that have uh, to-dos in them or any notes that aren't currently part of a notebook in the categorized. You have your quick access section here. This is the, the list of notes that you're gonna use most frequently uh, and you can add and remove things from there. Then you've got your list of notebooks uh, then your list of tags and then templates and the trash bin for where you put things that you don't want anymore. In the middle here, as I said, you've got your note list. Currently, we've got this get started notebook selected. So all you can see there are notes that are within that notebook. And you can see that there's already a note pinned to the top of the list. You can pin notes and they will always be at the top of your list. And then here on the right, you've got your note editor. Now this obviously takes up most of the space. And the first note that's already in place when you first log into Upnote goes through most of the features that this editor has. So you've got the basics of, of different types of headings here. Uh, you can have tasks and checklists. Uh, you've got all of your basic formatting there. You can have different colored text. Uh, highlights there, you can put in external links, you can add images and photos, you've got quotes, uh, you can actually change the colour of quotes if you want to. Uh, the code block feature here is excellent, that's a premium feature, um, but I'll get onto the premium uh, towards the end of the video. And then you can add tables, which again is a premium feature. Uh, there's math equations if if you if you need that for whatever you can link between notes uh, and all kinds of things like that. Now, the sync on Upnote is really fast. It means you and it means you can access all of your notes, all of your notebooks, and all of the features pretty much uh, on all of your devices. It includes iOS, it includes Mac, Android, Windows, and there's a native desktop app on Linux as well. Now, as I said, premium here, uh, compared to other note-taking applications, the premium here is just ridiculously good value. Uh, there's a monthly subscription, which I think in England, where I am, is something like 99 pence per month. But the lifetime subscription is £24.99. pence. That's one payment for life. Now, given that, to, to give you an equivalent, uh, an application like Evernote is going to cost you £45 a year, pretty much, every year, 
twenty-five pounds for life uh, is a no-brainer. So I would highly recommend that you snap up that lifetime subscription to Upnote whilst it's available in these early days of using the app. So let's get into creating a notebook. Uh, there's a few ways you can do this. Firstly, you can press this button here uh, in your sidebar next to notebooks. Uh, that plus button creates a notebook. That's a new top level notebook. You can create a nested notebook by clicking the menu button next to a notebook and then selecting the new nested notebook option. Uh, just FYI, uh, you can nest notebooks on multiple different levels if you want. I've, I've yet to exhaust how deep you can go, but it's far deeper than I would ever want to. Um, and there's also a keyboard shortcut as well, which is Command Shift N on a Mac or Control Shift N on a Windows PC. Now, once you do that, uh, we're just going to press this button here, uh, you get your notebook details. So you can <coughs> give your notebook a name. Let's go for basic personal notebook. You can actually choose here if you wanted to nest it under another one of your pre-existing notebooks, but we're not going to do that for now. And then you can give your notebook a cover, um, which you can choose from any of these um, preloaded options here, or you can even add and upload your own from your um, from your computer's hard drive. But we'll use one of the preloaded ones for now. I tend to like using purple for my personal stuff, I colour code everything and purple just seems to be a very calm, relaxed, fun colour for me, so, so that's what I go for. And there you have it, uh, a brand new notebook. Now you'll see the notebook has nothing in it at the moment, it's completely empty, so we need to create some notes. Um, both of the ways I'm going to show you now will create a note within the notebook that's selected. Um, there's a, a keyboard shortcut, so Command N or Control N on Windows, or you can just click the big new note button up here. Uh, so let's do that, and there we go, we have a new note. So let's give it a title, and then away we go. Um, so there you have it. That's the basics <coughs> of um, creating notebooks, a basic overview of how Upnote works. Now next week, in the next video, we're going to look at organising your notes using notebooks and using tags. But the purpose of today was just to make a start and show you how you can create notes, create notebooks within Upnote. So please do join us next week and in future weeks as we think about the more advanced ways you can use this app. And if you haven't done so already, uh, you can like the video, you can subscribe to be notified about future videos, and you can also pick up that lifetime subscription to Upnote. Uh, for full disclosure here, I want to say I'm not authorised by Upnote or paid by them in any way for any of this. I just love this application, and I think you're going to get a lot out of it, which is why I'm producing these videos.